two cracks in chocolate. The show where a guy with them has for 18 years tries to practice talking, tries to keep up his speech, and they were talking about the Grow Aces, Grow Box, it's really quite cool. I'm still learning a bunch about it, but this logo at the beginning is a place to start. It shows the water. Hang out. We're now going to make a planting hole. We have made a small drill for that. Tony, you can give us a demonstration. We are in the Monegros Desert, where an extensive plantation was carried out by the Life Plus The Green Deserts project. Here you see the degrading process of the biodegradable water box from 2012 until 2017. The Council of San Mateo de Gallego in Zaragoza used Groesis technology to provide water to this plantation. Thanks to the water that the water box supplies, the trees are growing healthy and strong on a terrain that used to be barren. These pine trees have been here since 2011, when they were just young saplings, and they have grown since then with the sole aid of the water box. This was the plantation in 2012, when the plants had only been here for a year. The dryness of this terrain is clearly visible. Today, what used to be bare land has transformed into a forest. It is incredible to see how vigorously these trees are growing. Most of these pine trees are over 2 meters tall. Other species were also planted in this area. Here we see a beautiful holm oak that has borne fruit, like many other specimens in this plantation. Having been impressed by the results, we head to other areas, where different species were planted as a part of this project. Dubai City, we're here planting a trial of 40 water boxes alongside the road. 
there's no water in the soil, so we add some compost and other things which I show in this movie. We first measure out the distances, how we want to plant. This is what you see in the next shot. We have a distance of 7 meters from the roadside and 5 meters between each tree. You then make a planting hole and because we add compost, the planting hole has to be about 40 centimeters deep. We add the compost because this soil is so poor, it cannot hold any water. So with the compost we do some soil improvement. I want to give you an idea of the challenge that we have here on um, uh, how dry this soil is. Just uh, take a look at this. This is the quality that we plant in. So it's really a challenge. Once we've proved that it works here, you can imagine there's no place on earth where we cannot plant. As you can see, we put the soil all around the planting place so that later on, after you've put the water box, you have soil enough to cover the sides, so we don't put it on one side. Now you see that the planting hole is about 40 cm deep and we put the bag with compost in the middle of it. Then we mix the soil with about 50% of the sand. make a mix of approximately 50% sand and 50% compost. We add about 30 liters of water and let that water drain into the soil so that we create a water column for the future penetrating roots. After watering we are going to open the soil. The reason is that the soil is collapsed because of the water and we want oxygen to enter. So we just open it and then wait for an hour to leave the oxygen entering the soil. Even better is to open the soil and wait for one day. Okay, so we start to make the soil flat. The oxygen has entered now. See, the soil is very beautiful and then we go and prepare our trees. You see these trees grow in a plastic bag and the problem with the plastic bag is that the primary root is destroyed. So what we do is cut this part of the plastic bag. Here I show you the bottom of the plastic bag, the part that we've cut off and you can see that the root cannot grow further and it starts to grow horizontal. This is the primary root. You can see that it has grown horizontal on the bottom. That's why we want to cut it off. Then we cut the side of the bag carefully. Because we do not want to destroy the secondary root, we plant it in the middle. Before planting, you have to define this distance. You open the carton cover and then you can define your distance. And we plant the box in an east-west direction. So the sun comes up in the east, we put this east-west. To find the places, our tree. <clears throat> and again we find the primary root horizontally growing. So this is the part that we've cut off.
and then we also take off the top of the plant because as long as the roots are not active we don't want the plant to evaporate. Then we put the soil back until this level. As you've seen we've used plants of about one year old and the reason is that then these plants have wood which means that they are less sensible for the heat of the sun. The same is with the root system. When you have a woody root system, it will re-sprout. We put the carton cover because the bottom of the box is open and we do not want the water to evaporate through the middle. That's why this part is actually protecting the water that's in the soil from evaporating. We also add some soil on top So that later on when we fill the water, the soil will actually fill up all the gaps between the box and the soil. So that we do not have any ventilation. As soon as you have ventilation here, the wick will dry out. Then we put the wick on its place alongside the box. And we put the box on top. Then we install the box. Take care that you put these uh, sides, edges, in the opening that you see here. This way they will click. They will be fixed in such a way that animals cannot take them out. The box is now installed, so we start to put our set. The height of the scent is until this edge. So the box stays about 10 centimeter above the soil. Take care that this opening is above the level of the soil. So when there is too much water, the water can drain out instead of washing out the roots in the middle. That's why we have the overflow. Now we're going to fill with water. We first fill a little bit of water in the box because otherwise it can start to flow. By adding some water, you give some weight to the box. Then we start giving water from the opposite side so that the water drains over the bed into the middle of the box. We want to prevent the roots from washing out, that's why we do it carefully. You add about 4 liters of water in the middle of the box. With this water we compact the soil around the roots of the trees. Okay. You see that the box is full? We put the cap on top and this way we have enough water for approximately one year. 